ok uh, all right so welcome everyone to the chaos dev the chaos africa dev uh, meeting um it's been a long time we went on like a quite a long break and then we've been um having our meetings in sync you know to find out whatever issue anyone has been having but it's great to see everyone here on the call today and I'm hoping we can have good conversation around the project that we have going on. So welcome everybody. Um, I want to um, especially welcome Gift. I think this is the first time Gift will be attending the developers um, meeting. So welcome. All right, Thanks. let's let's yeah let's get started. <laughs> Let's do you want to scratch that? Uh uh, why not? <laughs> please, 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 please tell us this stack you're learning. I personally know that you've been learning something, so don't put that on there. Let us know what you're learning. <laughs> Rust, nice. I know, you see, trust there's someone to be learning the one that's. Hmm. The the I the the highly demanded for um the, the the languages that are really in high demand. That's good. That's good. Mixed panel. What's mixed panel on harmony? Okay, so mixed panel is actually a tool that we use to listening to i don't i don't use the word connect data so we used to listen to the the data's uh things that you guys put in applications like events data and a couple of other stuff to determine how um user use their application where their frictions are areas that can be improved on and stuff like that so we use it to check the journey of the user in the application or in the software oh wow Nice. So the thing is, most Nigerian companies don't make use of it due to the fact that we don't pay attention to. Uh, it what? Most Nigerian companies don't make use of, like, don't maximize events data in their application. Oh, due to okay. Done research, Google, and stuff like that, customers' feedback. But uh, Mixpanel helps us to know the actual data, would know. 10% of the people were able to onboard properly, will be able to check or prank a new feature in the application, know how many clicks, know people that are having issues with uh, checkout systems and a couple of other stuff. So would also tell how many actually click on notifications or stuff like that. Those areas that you guys, that events data can be added, you know, stuff like that. So you just wow. put in the machine in the application and run it and select the actual areas. It's a bit technical. <laughs> but... Okay. That's something new that um, uh, I'm hearing now. It's coming from a product manager. And by the way, welcome to our meeting. I'm happy to have you here. So everyone, um, Harmony leads the technical writers um, focus group. And he has been doing such a great job in coming up with um, things or, or ways in which um, the technical writers can help um, with documentation and um, other types of writing uh, for, for our project. So he's here to um, learn and to understand what uh, we are facing as developers and see how they can help us with documentations for projects like Alphos and Badgen. So we'll be asking questions. Um, so um, that's that. Um, I would like to ask everyone, we'll go one by one, what are we working on or what have we worked on? I'm talking about um, Chaos Project now, uh, since we came back from the break. So I would like to call on uh, I'll come like to call on Winifred first.
Hi, Adinka. Hi, everybody. Hi. Uh, Good to hear your voice. Yeah, likewise. Uh, you know, I don't write code for chaos yet. So oh. I don't write JavaScript so. or oh, Python. Oh. Yeah. Okay, yes. It's I know you write Java. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Would you like to um okay, so um okay, so apart from coding, what other projects have you been involved in? Uh well I badge events. Okay. Uh, I think I joined like the first meeting for technical writers, but it's not the meeting time is not the best for me because on Wednesdays I'm usually at work. So Okay. I don't want to be doing swishy 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 while I'm at work. <laughs> so yeah. Oh, okay. Because I actually wanted to suggest that probably you'll be interested in the technical writers um group. Mm. I know. Okay. Oh, yeah, which I are, um, in... but... Okay. Okay. And I try to go uh... back and read the meeting notes. Okay. Okay, to see how you can contribute. So, okay, another way that I think you would, another thing we can do that, uh, uh, let me see if it's something you can enjoy or what you would like to do is um, probably be the liaison officer between the developers and the technical writers. And what do I mean by that? So you'll be the one to um, like, uh always be on the technical writers like okay where are you guys um what next do you need and all that so that we can actually bring whatever goals or whatever project goals we have um going on together we can actually bring it to reality so if it's something that you would love to do it's just checking up on 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 um on on the technical research to see if things are moving on oh okay Okay. Okay, we'll talk yeah, more about right. all right. Thank you. Uh this month. Yeah, um hello guys. Good evening. We are actually. So for me, I am I am trying to start a back end work with our post. So I've had a meeting with uh the project owner or manager and Catherine. So so we conclude that she will set up the the repository and then um we'll start like working on the backend. So and also other people are also welcome to join the project. So our force is where um we list a kind of an open source project where you we list uh, open source projects from Africa. So yeah, anybody can come submit their project and you know it will be listed there with the whole details and we we'll also link the owners and the contributors. So we want to kind of automate the whole process of submitting projects, um, reviewing it and approving it and showcasing it on the website. Uh, you know, automate it. So we need like a backend and a database to be storing those data. So that's what we want to start working on. So probably maybe right. next week. Yeah. Okay. So the, the back end will involve collecting the project, right? And storing yeah. it in the database. So yeah. Uh, yeah. the question yeah. that I have for you this month is that can we write I remember discussing with um, with Hinok and we were talking about how we have so many developers with python experience in the in the community and most of our projects are in javascript that probably um future projects we should um try to consider other languages especially python so I, i'm bringing it to you now that do you think we should start considering um our backend language or backend stack for um our force to be python what do you think so that other con the developers might be able to join. Mm, okay, so I think I think that's a good thing. 
we see the front end is on JavaScript. So I think I think is a is a welcome idea. Maybe can you uh, can you um, write in Python? I can write anything you want me to write. Hey, hey. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Let me put reaction first. I must put that reaction. Guys, can you just help me put reactions? <laughs> No, 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 I'm no. looking for reactions. I'm looking for. I have to put that reaction, that fire reaction. Oh my goodness! Okay, okay. Ah, I can't yeah. find it though. So I don't know where if, it is. Okay, I'm listening. <laughs> yeah. So if if you want to use Python, I think yeah, it's, you can you can use a simple um a Python frameworks like Django or Fast API. Or, Mm -hmm. yeah. simple ones that people can quickly mm. jump on yeah, yeah great nice nice okay um okay 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 uh what else again what else again um winifred do you code in python or can you code in python no i just write in java for now oh okay okay all right We'll see what we can do <laughs> because you've been contributing for a long time now in in uh, in in chaos and a very dedicated member of the developers team. So, and you could work with this month actually to come up with the architecture and everything. How about that? All right. <laughs> okay. All right, gifts over to you. Okay. Um. I recently joined the AFOS project and uh, um, Catherine created an issue, to, um, a large issue for the projects page uh, to create the projects page, add pagination, search and filter um, mm -hmm. and functionalities. So I haven't had any like official um, communication with her. It's just on the GitHub repo and on Slack. but. Um, some um, someone within the community, his name is Hash, he worked on the, um, the UI of the page. Then I contributed by adding dummy data since we do not have a backend yet. Right? I added dummy data and then I also added search functionality to the project. But I kind of had a blocker, which I've asked in the Apple's group. And I've not had a reply within the last few days since I sent the message. But I noticed that there was a on the design on the Figma. There's a there's a design for a model for the search and filter functionality, but it's not really self-explanatory how the design flow is supposed to be. So I asked a question in the in the community group for Afos. Okay, so we have an Afos channel, right? Sorry, where is where is the Afos channel, please? Because I I didn't see any question. Yeah, um, is in the Slack. There's a app. Let me check. Let me confirm the invitation. Mm, okay. Uh, well, I, I am not aware myself. Afos African Open Source. That's the name of the channel. Oh, do you mind sending it? Or um, okay. Don't worry, people will find it. I'm sure this will be able to find it. Okay. Yeah, I've seen it. Oh uh, yeah. Nice. Okay. So I just need clarity on what the design flow is supposed to be like based on what um, the designer designed on Figma. Then I can now like implement it on the front end. Mm, okay, right. you can ask me. You can ask me any um, question. I think I can answer. Okay. Please, mm -hmm. could you meet? Could you meet up with um, Desmond in in the DM so that you can resolve this together? Is yeah. that fine? Yeah. Thank that's you good. so much. Okay. I um can you please help me write what you said in the agenda of um okay. the stuff you're facing? So I was trying to listen to you and um listening and trying to write is a big one. Okay. Winifred, please would you be able to write for me? Yeah, sure. Yeah, please, thank you. Let me do it. Okay, how's the PA? Great. 
think I am happy to hear what we have been doing lately. Um, okay, okay. So, um, Gift, do you still have room for other projects? Yes. Or you are very much focused on AFOS right now? No, I, I have um, room. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. Because um, the budgeting project is still ongoing. And we even have um, like a priority pro um, priority task rather right now that I, I'm supposed to report on on in two weeks time when we have budget uh, meeting the working group meeting and I really want to make it a priority. I've reached out to Desmond um, earlier, but I, I I want us to uh, so I I I suggested peer programming. Um, sometime and you know we have been we've kept on saying that this peer programming will actually help us to uh, complete tasks faster so I've reached out to Desmond so if you don't mind you can also join us I just it's just that <laughs> I, I, I okay so the thing is I'm waiting on someone somebody's already working on them but I've been reaching out to them and I've not gotten a response so I, I'm thinking by the end of today or tomorrow, if I still don't get a response, we might have to reassign that task and there's more than I can work on it. The only challenge I have with reaching Agbadev this month is <laughs> Agbadev is only working late in the evenings. So <laughs> to reach him is voila. <laughs> it might say 9 p.m. or 10 p.m. now. <laughs> and I don't know if he'll be in bed by that time, Gift. No, I'm actually more active at night wow okay so good one this one how far yep yeah. well, i'm 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 available so i don't have a problem as far as it's night i'm, I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Okay, so um, in order to be able to get this done, if I don't get a response, please let's look at tomorrow. I just want to give them room because they've actually started working, but they were having issues. Which um, I, let me even quickly have ask you a question, Desmond. So, yeah, this person, the challenge they were they were having. They said they they, okay. they they have not been able to push to their branch mm, to okay. then be able to create a PR. And so I was like, that's a problem from Wait. their hand. Because we are sorry. See, I think okay. I think we should we should talk, start telling people to maybe if they have issues, they should just mention it in the Slack channel. Because this yeah. is like a, a small challenge, like Mentioning it might be um, some issue with the Git repository not synced or something. So, I mean, mm -hmm. something that can easily be easily be sorted out with maybe 12 or 10 mm -hmm. minutes uh, meeting. You get mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think, I so think people the thing should is, start posting their issues. Okay, now being yeah. So I re I usually reach out to people to say, oh, what challenges are you facing? Let's talk about it. But I don't get replies. So probably we need to, maybe there is a better way to, uh, you, you know, maybe if we, if we say it in another way, <laughs> um, we might get a response. Yeah. Because I've because, not been getting I mean, response so far. It's, it's a contribution. So it's not as if, uh, if you don't do it very well, somebody will not promote you or something. So... It's, and also it's like a community effort yeah mm. so if, if if you get stuck you can just say um hello i'm i'm working on this issue and i'm i'm stuck with so 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 and so can anybody mm. help me as far as mm. it's coding as far as it's code stuff like even if it's mm. data maybe i'm doing something i can spend like five ten minutes and help out mm. Mm. nice so, okay okay please let me yeah. note that down so that i can I can actually reach out to our devs to to let them know about this. Um, okay. Yes. Um, you rest your hand, Amuni. Thank you. Yeah, Please to, go ahead. I think you guys can um, replicate what the uh, the Argo project does. I've been in their channel for some time, and they, okay. they have conversations on the channel. So because they are talking, it gives room for other people to also talk. Right. They they so, have what? Please could you say that again? In the channel, the Argo project, they talk about mm -hmm. their issues when they are facing issues in development, which mm -hmm. help, which encourage other people to actually say their own issues. So I think if 
these conversations happen in the channel, people will be freely con converse because somebody might not be reaching out because it's they might, you, might, you know, okay. they can be shy or something. But if, if a conversation happens, people would always be free to ask for help. Hmm. I get you. Thank you very much. Okay. So I'll reach out. But um, in the meantime, I, I was thinking that um, the problem is from their end, not from our, our, I mean, not from the badging repo. So I actually was calling for a meeting that let's, let's just have a quick call so that I can help you look at the issue, but I've not gotten a response from them since then. So um, I just wanted to ask you that, could it be a problem from the badging repo or from their own local, um, from their own local uh, branch. Mm, I mean, yeah. I mean, we, we can't we can't tell unless we look at it until we see my, it. Hmm. Yeah, because I know your own repo is working fine. If you make a push, it works fine. So yes, <laughs> I think my exactly. Mount to works fine. So yeah, exactly. um, maybe until we look at it, we, we can't tell if what the issue is. Yeah. Okay. okay. So maybe maybe I will I will I will start a discourse maybe now in the group and see if anybody will respond in the African devs group actually. So let me yes. let me start a discourse at anyway. Okay. Another issue I want to discuss before um I move on to harmony is that um so um this month um before i, I yeah. move, De De deborah hi you're welcome hello Good hi hi welcome I, are you a back-end developer front-end developer front-end front-end great okay what's stack? view oh view. okay but have you been able to contribute um, at all to any of the projects that we have on ground? Not yet. Not yet. Is, is that uh, okay? So because is it because it's React? Um, I mean, I've worked with React, but it was a long time ago, though. So I don't know. Maybe that was the reason I just like like laid back or something. Okay, so um, what what? Okay, so you don't have anything you're contributing to right now. Yes, I don't have anything. Okay, right. is there anyone you would like to? Because we have Air Force, we have Badging Project. In fact, the Badging Project majority of the issues we have right now is mainly on the front end, and we are really looking for developers like people who are ready for. Um, let's do this and finish it up because there are some. Um, there are some issues that I, I even want to sit down with and break them down um, so that by October 1st, at least latest October 1st, people pick up these issues and they finish it on time. So if you don't mind, but it's in React, actually, React framework. So if you don't mind, you can take a look at, at this um, okay. these um, issues. Okay, so I wanted to say, welcome, um, Nelson. I wanted to say that. Um, Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. It's been a while. I saw your post saying you're back. It's good to have you back. Thank you, very much. All right. So I well, I wanted to say that um, the badging website was down for some days. Uh, nobody knew what the problem was, so in no cuts to sit down with the the um, back end, the server to discover what the problem was. And so the question that was asked is there the bathroom working group was that the the DEI working group is that um, is it only Enoch that can actually work on on the um, on the site when it's down? that we should actually have more than one person working on this. So I want to put it across to you, um, Desmond, because you're a back-end developer. Because um, I had to mention your name to say, hey, actually we have one other developer that works on the back-end. So um, I was told that we are we need to actually come um, 
together for like a meeting or so okay. let there be a walkthrough of the server so that mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh, when Hinoch is not around, somebody else will be able to debug what the problem is and be able to fix it. It shouldn't be one person doing that because I can just imagine yeah. if Hinoch was not available at that period, you know, we won't be able to do anything yeah. about it. So I would like to let you know I heard that um, we might have to call a meeting for this to happen. Okay. okay and if if we happen to know anyone who's also interested in the back end and server management um in on the call please go ahead and um, just let me know and i we can always add you to the call all right um so that's this uh that's that um harmony okay please so, could you could you please update us on what you have been doing with regards to the budget project so far and what you would like us to help you do okay so the this the thing is we we are technical writers we have gone beyond we we, we saw a loophole and we went beyond just creating documents so we help in quality assurance and check so we look at the project and test what is publicly available not in your code some of us don't know how to code like me Right, so we just uh, test what you guys have shipped out and look for areas it could be better or areas that there have been mistakes. So in the badging project, we have created issues on enhancement, like the table. We have also created issues on the table, the pagination, and a couple of other stuff we have seen on the website that we feel like uh, like a bug or like an error. We have created those issues on GitHub. We have also created a couple of issues on the documentation to enhance contributions better. We noticed that some of the documents would need more images and illustrations so that people that are looking at the document will be able to grasp what the document is all about and get a sample of how their code should look like or how it should look like in their code. We also provided an area in the where um, resources were actually added so that people would have access to other things and you don't have to be experienced to actually contribute the project or you can just read the document, get access to the resources and then free to contribute on different areas. But however, we don't have links from things like the uh, the, uh, the Sigma file, we don't have links to it, so it wasn't in the document and some other stuff. We would also need to know when things are actually I don't know how that information can be passed, but it would be nice to be you guys for the assurance checker, just in case there will need improvement or there is a bug on the site that I wasn't even in plan. So I think that's what we're doing so far. Okay, so you mentioned in the chaos, uh, thank you for what you've done so far. Um, mm -hmm. The question I have is, um, you mentioned in the general chaos um, meeting that uh, you needed help. I don't know if it's me, but something. she's breaking. Yeah, we needed help with pull requests, right? And um, I don't know who, who gave me a reply, but Anita has been able to sort it out. To Are you guys pull able? request on on the yeah, pages that we have made. Okay, Harmony. Can you guys hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Harmony, you were saying something. Can you guys hear me? Yes. I said we needed for pull requests to accept pull requests. And I think Anita has already worked on it. She worked on it a couple of days back. And that has helped us because we made changes and somebody need to review and then approve, approve it. So that was it. Mm -hmm. And then the next thing I said, which is what I just said, we need... Somebody, just like you said, if Winifred would help, it would be very good. Be able to tell us when things are actually skipped out, right? And stuff like that. It's going to help us and also help the chaos project publicly. Okay, you need someone. Please say it again. I didn't hear that. We need somebody to tell us when things are actually pushed. We know we are working on different projects, but somebody needs okay. to tell 
those projects and look in, into those projects when it's available publicly. Okay. So the question I have for you now is this. You said you actually um, created some doc issues, like, like issues on documentation. Yes. Then maybe some docs that need to be um, like updated or something. Now, um, do you, do, do the tech writers know how to go about that or you need like collaboration with a a developer that knows the the project you know such a way that they can help you talk about okay this is for instance if it is um how to like set up uh the local environment for the badging api is this something that do you have um, tech writers that understand the code flow of this project so, so that they can actually come up with the doc so code wise Precious has been of great assistance, but yes, okay. need we need if if there's possibility because some of the documents the enhancement we want to do is add pictorial view of how the code should look like, right? When they are trying to go through the steps to either launch their machine, kickstart their machine, update something, and those pictures would be very good if somebody that is on the project provides it. Hmm. Okay. But then we know how to edit the basic doc, docs, which is fuck the repo, um, do some edits, apply for pull requests, and basically that's it. Hmm. Okay, okay. You put that in mind for. Uh, okay. So, is there anyone available to take that hope with Amoni? Uh, Nessen, is this something yeah, you like actually, to do? Yeah. Gift? Okay, yeah, gift. You like to do that. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. Especially for the front end, how to set up the badging, your local environment in such a way that then you can begin to code whatever it is you want to code. Um, okay, so how many gifts will be working with you in this area? Can you hear me? How many? Yes, 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 yes. Thank you. I reach out okay. to her after the call. Okay. So, um, how long do you think we can do this for to ensure that oh, we are making progress? Like, is this something that will take like two weeks or so? I would send her. I'm. I'm not on my PC, right? I'm just going to send her the link to that particular issue, and then I will allow her look into it. Then we would now work on it together because she needs to look into it first. Okay, no while. Thank you so much about that. Um, uh, I think that's all I have for now. Does anybody wants to say anything? Okay. Um, Winifred, please could you help me put on the dock as action items? I want to talk about the next step so that when we are meeting in two weeks' time, we can actually gauge if there has been progress or not. So the action okay. items will be, thank you. The action items will be, um, there'll be, we, we must be able to resolve the issue uh, mandated by the, are we, are we, are we write that well, <laughs> like mandated by the um, DEI working group before the next developer working group. So you can just let me put it there as resolve the priority issue. Okay. That is the issue. The issue is about um, users should be able to complete every of their application within the badging website without having to go out to the chaos website. So the, the design is already on ground. It's just for implementation to take place on the front end. So Okay, so they should That's, automate um, the badging uh, website. No, 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 we're not automating. No, we're not automating. This is fine. Okay. This is just this fine. Is fine. Thank you. All right. Yes. Then, um, um, Gift is meeting with Harmony. Gift is meeting okay. with Harmony to discuss um, placing images in, in docs. 
Am I correct? How many? Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Then, gift is supposed to meet with um, Desmond concerning something. I'm trying to remember. Okay, a blocker, yes. Gift? You are supposed yes. to meet with Desmond concerning the blocker you're yeah can you just talk about the blocker like call it use it a name so that use a name for it so that um winifred can correctly write it down okay um the search and filter functionality of the design i need uh clarity on what design flow is going to be on the ui oh Can you hear Sorry, me? I didn't get a. Yeah, I can hear you now. I think it's Desmond that I was supposed to meet with. I don't know. The... Yes, you are supposed to meet with Desmond for a problem yeah. with the search and filter functionality. Yes, yes. The so... UI, the design on Figma. I need clarity on what it's the flow is going to be on the front end. Okay. Okay. So just just right, gift is meeting with Desmo to resolve a search and filter functionality on on the front end. Yes. For half us. Yeah, half us project. Mm. Okay. Um. Yes. Just those okay. three. Um, I still want to. How many? Do you still need the um, review for any of the issues you, any of the PRs you created, or everything have been solved by Hanita? Yeah, everything has been solved by Hanita. Oh, okay, okay, no problem. Right. Are we good? Does anybody want to add to these action items, please? Okay. I want to thank everyone for showing up. If you have any question, any question at all, you are stuck on an issue, please reach out in the Chaos Africa Dev um, Slack channel and um, others will be ready to actually help you. Um, I've, you know, your weekend is coming up, so have a great weekend ahead and see you in two weeks time. Thank you. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye, Bye. 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 Bye guys.